with Mick from FistUp.com and PowerfulTradingSecrets.com. Got a nice back exercise for you here. This is essentially a chest supported dumbbell row and it's going to be done on a decline bench. Basically what you're going to do is set a couple of dumbbells on the floor in front of the higher end here at the higher end of it. You're going to lay on your chest and do reps. Now the difference with this one is you're actually going to be setting the weights down in between every rep. So you're starting from a dead stop on every single one. Now it's kind of a trade-off because you know, it's, you're losing tension at the bottom, absolutely, but because you're starting from a dead stop, you're really forcing the muscles to get involved in the movement rather than relying on elastic tension. Like say, for example, if you're doing a, a dumbbell row and you've got to hit the rebound at the bottom, you can actually get a lot of power out of it that way and kind of reduce the tension. So this is kind of hitting it from the opposite angle where you're stopping from a dead, starting from a dead stop and really forcing the muscles to uh, do the work. So here's what it looks like, very simple exercise. Get yourself a decline bench. Just lay down on your chest and then grab the dumbbells and row. with my breathing on this one, I take a big breath in before I even start the movement, and then I hold it as I'm rowing up. One of the things uh, with back training is to really involve the lats. You want to inhale as you're exerting. So inhale as you're rowing in, inhaling as you're pulling down, because that puts an arch in the lower back, it expands the ribcage, and really allows the lats to uh, engage. If you don't do that, they tend to use more middle back and biceps when you're doing uh, back training, which is a big reason why a lot of people have trouble feeling their lats working. So anyways, with this one, because your chest is supported, if you try and breathe in as you're rowing, it's going to be hard because the weight's going to be pulling you down into the bench. So the solution to that is to take a big breath, hold it, and then row up. Hold the top. If you have blood pressure issues, obviously that's something you have to uh, uh, stay away from because you don't want to overexert and blow up blood pressure like that. So if you don't have any issues, it's perfect for this. Take a big deep breath in and then row up, hold for a few seconds, then exhale on the way down, then repeat. So I'll give you another quick demo here. lighter weight, um, then you can try and breathe in as you're coming up. That's probably not going to be as much of an issue. I've got a couple of hundred pounds on the dumbbells here, so if I try and inhale, here's what it'll look like. A lot less power. I can't even hardly move those weights. But when I do the uh, inhale and hold, <clears throat> I try and inhale. While I'm pulling those dumbbells up, can't even move them. Inhale first, hold it, and then pull up. A much solider base of support, much more solid, however you want to say it. But uh, that's essentially the bottom line. It's going to engage the lats better. It's going to uh, allow you to actually use heavier weight with it. So, chest supported, dumbbell row. So, you can also do this exercise, chest supported dumbbell row, with a curl grip, which is kind of an underhand grip. Now, you have to lighten up the weight a bit. But it's a very effective exercise. It's going to really target the lower lats. So here's what that looks like. It's essentially the same setup. It's just the uh, grip that's different. The same thing holds true with the breathing, uh, with even with lighter weights. If you try and breathe in as you're pulling the dumbbells, it's going to be a lot harder. So 
Breathe in, hold it, and then uh, roll the dumbbells up. Makes a big difference. So that's the exercise, a couple different variations for you to try that.